early diagnosis in, in Parkinson is, is very important. And I think perhaps the two most robust early stage or prodromal um, non-motor issues would be uh, hyposmia. Um, although hyposmia is also common in general population and can be due to other causes. In addition to that, REM behavior disorder, the sleep disorder. So if, you, if somebody presents to us with symptoms suggestive of REM behavior disorder, they also have hyposmia, it would be useful to screen them for other non-motor prodromal features. So depression might be one of them, anxiety, pains, daytime somnolence, etc. And if these are pres present, then that might form, in fact, a criteria for an early prodromal diagnosis, even without any significant motor features. The problem, however, one has to remember is that this might affect the person's insurance policies. This might affect the person's um, uh, counseling is really, really important because they will go, probably go on to develop motor Parkinson. But we also have to remember that some patients with these combinations may not also develop Parkinson. So there are all sorts of caveats there. Doing a DAT scan in this situation might help. Uh, but I think we need to really address the ethical issues and the societal issues before we jump more into this. Uh, but it remains a very exciting possibility that in future we will be able to assign um, early diagnosis with these non-motor symptoms.